this is Satnam here. Today we are going to discuss about FSK. So it is a communication lab experiment. See the circuit diagram for FSK where the input is square waveform nothing but uh, data input we are going to apply and NPN transistor will switch on for the positive off cycle and PNP negative off cycle thereby the output is FSK at the emitter. Now let us start the implementation of this as follows. There are two carrier signals both are in sine wave one is 1 kilohertz it is connected to NPN another is 3 kilohertz which is carrier 2 it is connected to PNP transistor and addition to that there is one more function generator we have to connect as a square waveform so around 100 hertz 4. Point volts peak to peak and the final output will be like this the output is FSK there is no separate power supply is required for this and uh, see uh, the circuit is implemented on the breadboard with SL100 and SK100 and two resistors is also connected to the input and the load output. Now the FSK is checked at emitter of point of across a load and modulation output will be as shown here. See here both 3 kilohertz as well as 1 kilohertz transmitted as an FSK. One of Let us discuss about FSK demodulation. See the circuit is here. In the circuit there are two parts of the one is a diode circuit another is a comparator. So for this comparator we need a diode power supply plus or minus 12 volts here. So the power supply is selected here and there is a reference voltage also required. Initially you set as 0.1 volts as shown here and this is plus or minus 12 volts for upper. See here is the circuit diagram, a detector section and a comparator section here. Okay, let us see, let us move to the further section here and see that output at pin number 6 of the app amp by adjusting a reference voltage slightly and we will get the comparator output as a square waveform. The voltage across this is roughly around 20 volts peak to peak whereas the frequency will match exactly as in the data transmitted from the base and it is shown on the CRO you can see that input data and the bottom side which is showing here is as a output data but only thing is the amplitude of the output signal is around 20 volts peak to peak because we are using comparator where the supply voltage is plus or minus 12 volts so we will get roughly around 20 volts. Now let us discuss about some applications of the FSK and it is explained here you can go through the frames and the information furnished one by one. What is FSK? It is a digital modulation technique which shifts the frequency of the carrier with respect to binary data signal. What are the advantages of FSK? It has lower probability, it provides high SNR, it has higher immunity to noise due to constant envelope, hence it is FSK transmitter and FSK receiver implementations are simple for low data transmission. It also, also have disadvantages. Let us go through it. It uses larger bandwidth. The bit error rate performance channel is worse compared to PSK. 
so thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and we will see in the next video thanks you for watching the video